you don't have to want it. Doing things you don't want to do is how you make a relationship work. I can't, Frank. I'm sorry. Sex toys are a gateway choice. Toys can be mind-expanding. I just got my one-year trip from Sex Addicts Anonymous. Part of my recovery is to make certain I only have loving, committed sex. No battery-powered aids allowed. She just wants to kick it up a notch. Make her happy. The key to my continued happiness is to have loving sex infrequently. I've mastered the infrequent part. This isn't about your happiness. It's about Sheila's. I finally got my life back under control. If I kick it up a notch, there's no stopping me. It's an addiction. Oh, would you stop bragging? We're all sex addicts, man. 10, 12 times a day? What, thinking about it? Yeah, more. No, the act, arousal and release. Before I got an SA, I was having sex 10, 12 times a day. Giving or receiving? Never receiving, always destroying. Destroying? That's what I used to call it, destroying pussy. You all make coming to work such a delight. 10, 12 times a day, the same woman? Never. That's the thing about the internet. Once you announce your depravity, there's plenty of other depravers seeking company. I mean, if you put it out there, you can find a ton of willing participants who want to be humiliated having sex. I gotta re-up my AOL account. One week, I had 32 different partners. Didn't cost me a dime. Toys, contraptions, restraints. You know, you start messing around, you think you're under control, but eventually, you abuse your arousal center, needing stranger and stranger shit to flip your switch. I mean, I started to look at sex like a fight. My weapon was my cock. No, I really had a problem when I couldn't get hard unless I was slapping it in the face of a woman who was pretending she was crying. I underestimated you, Jody. In a bar full of depraved people, you were the grand poobah of depravity. Was. Won't be again. What do I owe you for the ginger ale, Kev? Hey, bro. I can't hear you. Is it getting cold out there? Could use a shower. Well, I, that's not a good idea. Hey, hi. Okay, I'll tell her. So I spent the last few months learning baby sign language. Uh, he says he hates creme brulee. <laughs> Gives him the runs. Oh, is there anything he does like? What do you want to eat? You know how to make cake? Strawberry shortcake? Uh, strawberry shortcake? Oh. Nice as fuck that. Vanilla cake with a shitload of... Grand Marnier. Hey, huh. you need to watch your language, huh. bro. Uh, there's one more thing before he kicks it. Uh... Hey! Out of line, bro! That's a lady right there! What'd he say? He's sorry. He'll settle for something else. Really sorry about your mom, man. Must be tough. It is. There's so much I still want to say to her. So many questions. She loved you, Frank. Just didn't know how to say it. Yes, I know that now. Also know she was sitting on a pretty big pile of money. Wanted me to act as an executor of her will. Any idea where she kept the cash? In the cushions. <laughs> I knew it. But then she divided it up, gave Sheila a grand to say thanks, and had me mail the rest. What? Mail it? Where? To who? Whom? What? To whom? To whom the fuck did she mail the fucking money? They were all Gallagher names. It was, uh, Wyatt, Clayton, I think. That bitch! Shit! Talk to you later. Fuck! Mmm. Morning. No te muevas. Lo juro a Dios que te explota tu pinche cabeza. Glad to see you're up and at it. I don't want to hurt you. It's okay. Seriously, 50 caliber Desert Eagle. Kicked back with a twin, that shoulder wide open. That's more size.